All right, catching bait right in front of Boynton Inlet. Pretty cool, you never have this much bait, especially this time of the year in October. It's actually supposed to be the mullet run and not all these awesome kinds of baits. We got pilchards and thread fins and all epic baits, which we never expect to catch in Boynton. Yeah, so nice job, Dustin. So today, yeah, we started off doing our traps. There's gonna be a, a, a different video, but uh, we're gonna do some fishing today here in Boynton and see what we can come up with. Here goes our friend, Captain Pat. Yes. What's up? Hi. How Oh, hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> didn't recognize you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't recognize you all fancy, ready to go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we just dropped our stone crab traps, and then we're going to do some fun fishing. Yeah, yeah. So, catch them up. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> oh, right there. In that calm water, that was a tarpon. What do you got? Something's playing with this bait. Doesn't feel right. Might be a cat. Doesn't feel right. Oh, it doesn't hurt her. What? Is that a keeper? <laughs> it is a keeper. He's gonna be pretty damn close. Yeah. I'll let him go though. But yeah, he go. just destroyed your thing. You want him? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Another fish. Well, no, first fish. Yay! Tarpon rolling all over the place. And he ate your live bait we caught. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so we're over here fishing the bridge, local Lantana Bridge. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm excited. Over here, just threw my 10-foot cast net, and look what we got. Loads of bait. Open the well, baby. Oh, they're all stuck, aren't they? Mm. Oh, there's way bigger baits in there. On the bottom. Anyways, that's how you do it. That's how you throw a 10 foot cast net and load up and bait under the bridge. Unfortunately, the holes in this net were just big enough to hook hundreds of them. <laughs> but that's part of the cast net game, it happens. We had bigger ones underneath them and the chummers up on top. Wait, should we get those out? You're hooked up. What do you got? I wasn't even ready. I didn't even know. I got a jack. Oh. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Crab trap bait. Good job. Brian didn't even know he was hooked up. I didn't even know. I was bringing my bait back in and he just kind of took it. Yeah. Fishing that seawall over there. And that's where you just put your bait right on that corner of the seawall and catch fish. Yeah, guys. This is a great place to fish. Usually in a mullet run, we wait to see something exploding. We just drive around looking for explosions, but here we got currents going this way, and you can see it's a great corner. I just threw this bait on there and caught a little jack. Nothing crazy, but uh, all good. On to the next. Oh! Okay. Get him, Sizzle. Get him away from that piling. Yeah, we cleared it. Nice. You got Jack? Hooked up. Probably. I finally, I just let that bait, I'm sorry. I just let <laughs> that bait go down that wall with the outgoing tide right there. You guys can see that wall all the way down and it finally just got slammed. Let him run with it. You guys saw me close the bail there. We're hooked up. All right, I gotta go forward. My bait, my fish is going forward. Pull some drag there too. Probably a stud jack. We'll use the net. Seems like a five pounder. I can. They fight so hard. Jeez. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. These jacks are so strong, I for forgot. <laughs> been we haven't caught any jacks. I caught a nice jack. Oh, keep their head down, man, all the way to the surface. Whew, that's a nice, nice one, one, Sizzle. Yeah. Five, six pounder, I'll take oh, yeah. it. It's really pretty. Jack there. I let him run with that bait a little longer than I should have, so he did swallow that hook. Let me get his 
teeth out of this net. There you go. Give him oh, a actually, side a little more the for us. There you, there you go. Perfect. There you go. Inside. Right in the corner. Gorgeous fish. You can see those really pretty colors. Looks like he's more of an ocean jack, not a river jack. Really light colored fish there. Look at the yellow. Nice. All right, the fish are just getting bigger for us. Current's starting to really move, really getting these fish fired up. And you see that circle hook just doing its job right in the corner of the mouth. I mean, that's perfect. So if I was releasing him, he'd be fine. But he's not getting released. He's staying in the boat for a shark bait or a stone crab trap bait. Be the first one that keep in the boat. All right, let's get some more fish, guys. That was awesome. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. All right, sorry, that was, I got, oh, am I wrapped on you? Yes. It's okay. It's a snow. Nice. Right, stop, stop, stop. All right. Um, how do you want to do this? Grab them. I don't want to pop them off on your rod. Move this. Actually, he's hooked just perfectly. Oh, he just came off. Nice. Yay, we got a snook in the boat. We just had a, a uh, big pot of mullet just come right through right there. And we're rocking and rolling from awake. <laughs> but now we got the first snook on the boat. And look at that circle hook perfectly right on the top of the lip there. Wasn't going anywhere. Once again, those baits we caught today in the cast net. Cute little guy. Always nice again to see smaller snook to know that our fishery is healthy. And we're in an area where we're like, why haven't we caught a snook yet? And then finally, we got a little one to, to cooperate there. So another species in the boat, pretty nice, but let's go ahead and let him go and keep it up and see what else we can put in the boat. And he's ready. There he goes. Yeah, so we're just drifting baits. The current's ripping this way, and we're just drifting baits right under this boat, under this dock right here, which again, we do that everywhere we go. And it just looks like an epic place for big fish to hang out. So I'm gonna put another bait out and see what happens. Shit. Hello. There's a lady. Stay hooked, stay hooked. All right, got a lady fish coming aboard. If it stays on. Just trolling to a spot. Woohoo! Oh, shoot. Get him in the boat. Oh my gosh, my handle's spinning backwards. Really? Yes. Oh my God. Crap. Stella, man, can't get, we can't get our Shimano Stellas to work more than a week and a half. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. I just went to pick him up and he just spun, and it just spun all the way backwards as I picked him up. You want to mess with it in the water? No, put hand him in... it to me. Get him, okay. no, put him back in the boat. Okay. Not doing it now, now it is. It just did, like with the weight of the fish, he spun backwards. <sighs> and I had to hold the leader because he spun backwards twice. Fish on. Oh no, I think he got off. What? You sure? Maybe not. It was a jump. I saw the jump, but I missed the fish. He's a baby. Oh, it's another lady. We don't mind more ladies because Puddin likes ladies. No, what is it? It's a snook. Oh, it's so small. Oh my gosh. Is that, that's a tarpon snook. Oh my gosh, snook. it's a tarpon snook. Yeah. Yes. Hold on, let's see it. So cool. Officially, my PB smallest tarpon snook. Let me get the hooks out and I'll show Hold you. Hold on, let me show it up that, that noise get, box. Let me get the hooks out. <laughs> what are we doing? Let me show up this noise box. You got a bunch of people over here watching too. All right, so let me get the hooks out. Tarpon yeah. snook. Hold that fish. Maybe I gotta get the hooks out. He's wrapped really good. All right, that is a tarpon snook. The babyest tarpon snook in the world. Smallest tarpon snook ever. But that definitely is, it's definitely shaped different. And when you look at snook a lot, you'll be able to tell the difference, but it's got a shorter body, fatter, fatter body here. And it's just not the common snook at all. Pretty cool. All right, let's let him go. There he goes, pretty cool. All right, so that's two species of snook in the boat. No real size to them, but at the same time, they're snook. So no complaints here. Let's keep fishing. If we were bass fishing, those would be, those would be huge, right? Yes. Be monstrous. <laughs> Throw some shade. Throw some shade. We had a great day on the water, guys. Quite a variety of different species we yeah. put on the boat. Quite a few different ones, Absolutely. which has been a lot in quite a while. Uh, but pretty cool. Nothing of 
crazy, nothing too big, but it still had a blast out there catching a wide variety of different fish species, multi-species flight pets. Yeah, just a great day in the water uh, with my girlfriend. It was awesome. Yeah, and then uh, hopefully we do get some stone crabs, so just cross your fingers on that. Last year was a terrible year for us. We didn't make one stone crab video, so we're really hoping to bring you guys that because you know you, you love the crabbing videos. So wish us luck, and until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on catching. catching.